Hey there, we are at the Dark Horse Recording Studio in Franklin, Tennessee. A wonderful place. They have an institute here that I'm really interested in learning about. Let's step inside. We've got Smokey with us today. We're going to see what the Dark Horse is really all about. Hi, Corey. Hey, Jeff. Welcome to Dark Horse. Great being here, man. Thanks for taking some time with us. Oh, absolutely. It gets me away from my desk, and it's a beautiful day to hang out a little bit. Yeah, well, let's see uh, the area, and let's see what the studio and the institute is really all about. Absolutely. The coffee's on. Good, good. teach a 12-week audio engineering program that jumpstarts your career in the music industry. So it's short, sweet, and to the point, no math, no science, no English, just audio engineering, 100% hands-on on the consoles, professional gear. Uh, our instructors are uh, engineers who work in the field. They're not trained professors, but they do this for a living. So we find that it's kind of a unique niche. This is the original uh, cabin studio, Corey, built early 90s. Uh, it's attached to the owner's house, and uh, the, the area we're in right now, which is a lounge, also ends up being the drum room for a lot of bands that are tracking here because of the high ceilings and yeah. the acoustics. Um, Faith Hill recorded here uh, in the early 90s as one of our first big clients, and it really gave Robin Crow, the owner, kind of the leg up he needed to make this a business. Sure. Um, and he was thrilled to get that as sort of one of the first clients coming in. Coming in here, the actual control room of the cabin. One of our students at Dark Horse Institute is um, uh, Evan is over here and he's doing a mix on one of our bands, the Tammy Rochelle band, is one of their final projects. And uh, they're finishing up the first two week final project right now, seven songs by the Tammy Rochelle band. And all the students have their own mixes of certain songs and it's becoming a full length project. Our students are working on records from actual up and coming recording artists who okay. then walk away with a product of their own and the students will walk away with a CD that has their names on it, credits as oh, wow. having mixed on certain songs on that record. That's a nice way to get started. It's a good way to get started. So, Corey, this is just the piano isolation room for the cabin studio. Lots of great natural light mm -hmm. and um, a great sound. You can you can hear the acoustics. It's just a really nice bounce for the piano. Uh, you know, you can even hear how nice the piano sounds. Go ahead. The isolation booth we have in here for vocals or guitar, acoustic guitars to be recorded, mm -hmm. it's where Ashley Judd comes to probably do 90% of her voiceover work. Wow. She, she does voiceovers for, for TV and film and a lot of uh, environmental causes, for example, that she believes passionately in. And she's been working with us for so long that we'll get a call from her or her producer saying, oh yeah, Ashley's coming in tomorrow, can you have everything ready? So she'll come in and by the time she comes in, she's got her bar stool, her, uh, her music stand, script. Um, headphones, and sometimes she'll be in and out here in an hour, and most of us don't even know she's been here. That's wow. the way she likes it. Yeah. This is the uh, actually the courtyard area I was talking about earlier, when uh, where uh, Robin Crow and the staff of Dark Horse set up a uh, big screen for Monday Night Football. Uh, for Tim McGraw and his band and crew a couple years back when they were recording Southern Voice and for eight Monday nights in a row there was a big screen and speakers and a bonfire and a barbecue and um, it wasn't something Tim McGraw asked us to do initially but after after, seeing after the first one he came up to Robin <laughs> one night the next day or something and said we're gonna do that every Monday night while I'm here right and of course the answer was of course this is the gatehouse. This is the larger of our two guest rooms or guest facilities in the main building at Dark Horse. And as you can see, very much like a nice bed and breakfast set up. You've got a full kitchen, uh, comfortable bed, couches. There's even a restroom right around the corner. And even a bunk, uh, which we uh, passed on the way in, which is kind of a, a, a tip of the cap to the tour buses that artists oh, have yeah. where all the musicians are in these small bunks. It's very comfortable. We have artists uh, staying with us who are recording from out of town quite often. It's something that really differentiates Dark Horse because we're very much set up almost as much as a getaway or a resort type setting to be creative at as we are as a studio. When Faith Hill was staying with us at one point years and years ago, she bought us a bedspread because she didn't like the one we had. And uh, it's either this one or the one we were just in in the, in the gatehouse. Oh wow. Um, and so we're a little protective of that particular bedspread. <laughs> sure. And right in here we have some of our students working on final mixes actually um, for the Tammy Rochelle band on their final project. Each one had their own song. They had their the, the rough mix, the notes from the artist, and 
con fairly continual guidance from our engineers who are their teachers, mm -hmm. um, but they're told these are the parameters, this is what we're looking for, you know what you're supposed to do, go for it. granddaddy of our studios. It's the biggest. Honestly, it's the most expensive. <laughs> so typically, um, clients or you know, musicians, artists that have either large bands and or the budget um, to record in our biggest studio, this is where they will record. This is where they will track. This is the main control room. Um, our large, we have a great Trident uh, mixing board there as well as all the Pro Tools gear you need. Over here is our, our largest isolation booth. The drummers will set up in here or small vocal ensembles. Oftentimes you'll see four or five of the killer, those killer harmony singers that we have here in Nashville just lined up in a row singing background harmonies to someone's lead vocal track. Yeah. Much better to be doing your drums or your vocals in a room like this than feeling like you're in someone's basement. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and that's one of the people come, people come out here to record for the vibe and the level of service. That is the main reason people come to Dark Horse. Jeff, I think I can do this. It's daunting, but I think I can, I can run this board. Well, I, you, I have confidence in you. I have a strange feeling that you might just be able to, so abs absolutely help yourself. All right. I can't wait to get my hands on this thing. I like to press this right here. <laughs> Thanks. What a wonderful experience this really was. If you are interested in being a part of the Dark Horse Institute or doing any kind of recording here, Contact them using the information below, the website address and the phone number, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon.